Hey everyone, today's photo shoot is all about portraiture. Let's go! The location for today's shoot is here in Greenwich, London, in specific the River Thames at low tide. This location is positioned in between the Millennium Dome, which is now known as the O2 Arena, and Canary Wharf. And joining me as model today is Natalia. Hi, I'm Natalia. I'm an actress based in London. And if you'd like to check out my Instagram, at Natalia underscore Shiraniak. For the image edit part of this video, I'm going to show you how I edited this picture. So in Photoshop, I first created a frequency separation. I selected the blur layer, then using the lasso tool, I selected areas of her face and added a Gaussian blur effect and repeated it a couple of times to smoothen out those areas. Selecting the texture layer, I used the healing tool to remove a few blemishes. Natalia's skin is already pretty good, so there's no need to do any hectic skin smoothing. Happy with that result, I merged the layers and selected the dodge tool in order to enhance the high tones on her face. Usually I only use this tool at an opacity between 5 and 30%, working the areas over and over if need be to get the desired result. At this point, I felt like I needed to see more skin texture under her eyes and perhaps a bit more over her face, so I created a skin texture effect. To show you how I do that, I created a new layer, filled it with grey, made it a smart layer, added a texture layer using the sandstone effect, set the mode to soft light and lowered the opacity. Then adding a layer mask, setting it to black, and using a brush with white at a low opacity, I painted in the areas I wanted to see more texture.
To enhance the sunset, I created a new layer, selected the brush tool with the yellow-orange color, set the opacity to a low amount and painted the area. I changed the mode to overlay and duplicated the layer, setting the mode for the new layer back to being normal. I then changed the opacity for both layers to around 30%. I created layer masks to both layers and using a black brush I erased the glow over her to make her stand out a little bit more. The final action I did was to brighten her up. I created an adjustment curves layer, brightened the setting and using a layer mask and brush I painted over her. I carried on tweaking this image for a bit and here is the final result after colorizing it which is something I'll cover in later videos.